All right, guys, so I said I was gonna be optimistic with the PowerVision Egg X, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna try it again. I did fix the firmware. This time the firmware did go through, so maybe the battery was bad the first time, and that's why the firmware failed. But I did go ahead and put the landing gear on the uh, Power Egg X, and we'll give it a go and see how it does. So stick around, lake's behind me. We're gonna try this out. Okay, I've got my camera girl holding the camera. Steady hands, that's the key, right? All right, so let's see. It takes a little bit for it to connect. So when you do connect to the Power Egg X the first time when you are using this wetsuit type of thing, I call it a wetsuit, it's a shell, um, you do have to let it know that you're doing the waterproof. That's gonna turn off obstacle avoidance and all that good jazz. Um, so it is all off. I am filming in, let me make sure that I do have the camera settings right. Cause I think the last time I flew, I did not have it in 4K60. This time it is in 4K60, which is its best frame rate. Uh, let me hit the record button, recording. All right, step back, let's step back. Keep filming there, hold it steady. All right, it's up. No, wait, not waiting to do that. All right, so when I first took off, it was drifting all around. It seems like it stabilized itself pretty good now. So I am going to attempt to land it on the water here. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit closer. So we'll see how this goes. So let's bring it in closer. All right, bring it in closer. It's the first time I've ever landed a drone on the water. So you guys should still be able to see it from here. And we're just gonna slowly drop it in the water here, I guess. I guess what I'll do is I'll just hit the land button. All right, so it's automatically landing. Oh wow, that was easy. So I don't know if you could see that. It's sort of landed in the water. It's floating, or it's floating around. So let's see if we can take back off again. And we'll take back off. I'm gonna swipe to the right. Oh wait, there it goes. There it is, it's out of the water. <laughs> okay. All right, that right there is sort of worth the price of a Can you control it? Do you know how to fly a drone? All right, so check it out. So if you take this stick and move it up, it's gonna take the drone up. There you go. Good job. Now, if you turn the stick left or right, it's gonna spin the drone. There you go. I know this goes forward. Yep, that goes forward. That's, That's gonna take it backwards. How'd you know that? Because. You know? All right. What else do you know? That's it. Okay, so you're flying it. That's going backwards. Take it back the other way. Hey. You can spin it. There you go. There you go, and then you hit the sticks, go forward. Now you're good. Go forward. Ah. No, you keep going. You take it out. Go ahead. Fly it out. All the way? Yeah. As far as you think you want to go. Don't go past visual line of sight. There you go. Let's make sure you're recording. And you're recording. Good. All right, so I figured I would narrate this part a little bit, give you some explanation. So first things first, doesn't matter how good of a pilot you are, for the life of me, I cannot figure out how to get the yaw to stop being so jerky and responsive. It's almost like what I would equivalent to 
turn in a tripod and that initial movement you make either left or right you get that initial jerk that's exactly what happens on the power egg x i'm going to talk to development see if they can't figure that curve out but it's a little annoying because it really ruins a lot of footage the other thing was when you land on the water you have to let it stabilize before it'll take off again so a little concerning because i feel like if you land it in let's say the ocean or something and there was a little bit more rock the gimbal may not calibrate or the IMU may not calibrate as you saw it took a little bit before it would actually take off luckily it was close enough on the docks I, I would have jumped in if I had to not my first choice but it didn't come down to that thankfully That was it okay so this is a lot more fun than i thought now that you can put this on and land in the water there are a couple of caveats to landing in the water like you may have saw that the gyroscope wanted to calibrate and it wouldn't take off also if you are flying in a lake i probably wouldn't land on a lily pad because the prop wash was actually blowing the pads up and if they accidentally hit the prop it may get stuck so but beyond that my second impression the footage looks a little bit better i think with the first video i was in the wrong frame rate now it looked pretty good. I'm actually you know, somewhat happy with it. And I can sort of see the fun factor of this all. I think water did get in here. I don't know, I'll have to take this apart to see if any water made it into the egg. I don't think any water did. I just powered it off. Let me power off the controller. I'm sort of doing this whole video really haphazardly, so I hope you guys are okay with that. But I'm actually curious if water actually made it into here which i don't think oh wow i cut myself on this holy crap that's sharp oh wow i sliced my finger open on this piece right here crap i don't know if you see that i'm like bleeding everywhere now mm, damn it wow I, that's sharp that's really sharp anyways there are some sharp points to this obviously like you can see be careful you will slice your finger open mm. Mm -mm -mm. that sucks uh, but no it looks like the egg is dry from what I can see the egg is dry there's some water up here but that's actually on the outside of the drone itself so it does get a little bit hotter but that's to be expected because it is in a uh, tight compartment I'm gonna go take care of this cut I hope you guys enjoy this oh shoot that's well talking about scratches I guess that's how you would get scratches on this is if you let it flip down on concrete so I'll just go ahead and flip it like this and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thank you, Zoe, for helping me film today. And we'll see you next time. Stay original.